In this uh, video I'm going to address the issue that a lot of students found difficult and that is um, how to represent a negative floating point uh, number uh, in binary. So first thing we have to do is we have to have a number that we want to convert and in this time this we're going to go for minus two and a half. Okay so we've got to represent that as a floating point um, binary number. So the first thing we've got to do is apply um, the same rules as we would for a, a whole number that was uh, two complements. So we write out enough powers to leave a leading zero because we have to find the positive the positive um, two and a half. So we need a 1, we've got a 2 because we've got to represent that and we just go one more step and we go to 4. So that's minus um, 4. So you always go one more step than the number you want because that has to be a leading 0 which will eventually turn into a 1. And then we need a half. Now we're going to, in this instance, we're going to use a 4-bit mantissa and a 4-bit exponent. So I'm just going to use 4 bits because I can represent the number two and a half. So I just have a two and a half, a zero and a zero. Now what I do then is flip the bits. So flip them. So zero, one, zero, one. And then ignoring this top line here, I would add one. So simply I would add one to that. So one and zero is one. And then that's a one. That's a zero and that's a one. So a lot of you will say, well, how does that actually equate to two and a half? Well, first of all, I'll show you how to first uh, turn it into a, uh, a, a floating point um, number. So at the moment, we know that the decimal point has always got to be between the one and a half. So we would have to float the decimal point one, two places, which would give us uh, standard form of times 2 to the power and we've moved it two places 0 one, um, sorry, zero, zero, one, zero, which was give us the binary number of 1 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 so the exponent would be a 2 and there's the mantissa. So if we want to work out what that number would be and we've got to prove to ourselves that that is actually uh, minus 2.5, we would effectively do the reverse of that. So we know that the mantissa is 1.01. And we know that the exponent is 2, so we would float the point 2, which would give us this number here, 1, 0, 1, point 1, because we've moved the decimal place from there to there. Okay? So what we'd in fact, in fact have, if we put the powers above these, we would have minus 4, 2, 1, and the other side of the decimal point would be a half. So that would be minus 4 plus 1 um, plus a half. And as you know, that is minus 2 and a half. Simple as that.